Click the link in the description to become a Bob today. Get access to the Jungle tier list, exclusive Discord AMA channel, and an OP.GG review, and much more. Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We're going to be playing Belveth versus Hecarim. Lord help this Hecarim. I've been playing on my main quite a bit. Whenever I play on, play on main account to like rank up, I only play one champ. And as per usual, it's been Belveth for the most part. And I've got pretty juiced on Belveth, so that's why I'm saying. Lord help this Hecarim. My rotation's clean. My plays, fast. My damage, high. My boobs, big. You don't stand a chance, Hecarim. So I'll be starting these Raptors here and then moving it on into his blue side. Because Mr. Hecarim, we got a question right off the rip here. Did you start in your blue side? Let me know. Let me know, big man. You didn't? Well, I'm going to have to take that blue buff. That's ridiculous. So if he started this blue buff, then we could try to smite his Gromp from him. Or even take a all-in on that Gromp. Go ahead and use the E in the smite. And then with this sort of invade, you always punish a full clear jungler, whether you kill them on the invade or take a couple of their camps. For the runes here, Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, the, the world's most basic rune page. It gives us fighting power and tempo on jungle. I accidentally ran Electrocute the other day on Belveth with like a mage rune page, but it made me really think like the runes aren't that important. <laughs> really put it into perspective. We got level three. Now we can look for a play on Mordekaiser since he's so far pushed up. He'll hit level 3. It's a big minion wave, but I'll play my hand at it. Why? Because there's no downside. No such thing as a bad attack. Q. Auto Q. Auto. Auto. Now, he didn't use the Q on me. He just doesn't even care about me, honestly. And that's kind of hurting my feelings. We need to deal all of our damage here, so the Q eat. Well, that's awkward. I'm still going to have to kill you. Sorry. Flash Q. Auto. He just walks away from my E, like he just doesn't even care about me. I tell him my deepest secrets, you know, he knows that I actually went to bed until <laughs> until I was 12 years old. Naturally, yeah, into the bot lane, get your double kill, man. Yeah, I killed someone elsewhere. Bot laners have to die, fact. Nice. Lucian lived and Skarner kills him. Skarner the man, apparently. What is going on? Well, we did our play, Bob. So what we'll do now is clean up these camps. If I can kill all of my camps, which Hecram took. He has 22 CS. Bob, did he take my wolves too? Hecram's a real fun and balanced champion. Anyways, we'll get as many camps as we can before we reset. This part is slow and awkward on Belvet, but trust me, it's for a reason. We do our level 3 play, and then we just simply aren't strong until level 5 again, so... That's what we're rocking with. Right, so on Belveth, you have these options for early attacks, and how you play them out, well, it gets real fun from there. The main deal is that you want to put yourself in a position for these early attacks. But Sawyer, I don't know when to do that. That's fine. Just attack something. Do it wrong, and that will give you some pretty good info of which attacks are good and which ones suck. These guys are trolling. You guys are trolling. That's one noob down. Ekram on the run. Remember our initial goal, the farm? We got it. Mr. President, we got him. Now, I've broken up with Blade of the Rune King. I'm now married to the Kraken Slayer once again. Why? As much as it would, like, there's stats, you know, works better into tanks. Kraken sounds cool, and I can help it. I like that aspect. Now, here's another aspect. Rectric gives us movement speed. Rectric is almost like buying boots. Since we run free boots, that's pretty beast in the early game. And then this build pass, not bad. A bunch of long swords into attack speed later. And with my extra movement speed, I'm going to slither on in here. Against the world's strongest man, Mark Henry here on Mordekaiser. Auto Q, auto. You miss me. Q E. Get some HP back and then crash this wave with Mundo. Soften up the minions a little bit. And the job is done. I got my red buff, so with the Void Grubs coming up, I feel pretty confident moving into the river. Any noobs in here? Let me know. 
hit this. No noobs yet. This is level one scuttle. I really feel like Hecarim's not up here. I'll use that W. There he is. E. Nice. The E gives me damage reduction. His Mordekaiser will be here first, so we do have to respect that, but not entirely. I could still get a smite here, and Mundo's going to show up eventually. Sorry. Ow! Sorry, sorry. Into my team, dumbasses. Yes, E. Yes, you have been properly outplayed. I have pulled you towards my allies. A never-before-seen play. With Belveth, you always have two Qs backwards. Now, I played the distance like a total dumbass, but it works out. Even this fat, ugly bastard can get more LP than you can. Alrighty, job's done. Time to clear the camps. So that's kind of the rotation, right? We had reset, spent our gold. There was a play, so we do that play. Continue the play into the river. On turn two here, the objectives will spawn. The Void Grubs and the Dragon. And you really want to contest those. You don't necessarily want to do them yourself more often than not. Especially that Dragon pre-6. But the enemy jungler does. So you want to go there and kick his ass. Or pull his noob teammates into you. And you can't walk into them because you're outnumbered. Because you won the lane. So let's clear these camps. Get as much golden XP as we can before the reset. And then see where the game falls. But I've been having so much fun on Belveth playing this exact style. I've been having fun winning games and climbing. Ridiculous. The opposite of the regular League of Legends experience. Into the river. I'll check this out, but nothing special has to happen. Alrighty, I'll just start the dragon for now. To duo with Skarner's not bad. Now, I say doing Dragon Pre-6 sucks because you don't have this true damage on hit. The true damage on hit really helps when doing the dragon. And in general, if you have more levels, you're dealing more damage and you have... Whoa! More items! Oh, show me to do dragon. It's fine. We got Hecker multi. We'll be able to fight him topside. I'm surprised that they show up for that one. Um, to the bot side. Honestly, the play's gonna keep happening. These guys have spent quite a bit, so maybe we can clean up. We'll see. That fizz is pretty low. And with my wreck trick, I'll be there in record time. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hecarim wants to scuttle crab, so... Let's give him some space here. Yes, my man. W. Q. Auto. Q. Yep, noob down. Oh, you guys need to crash a wave? That's a damn shame. That's a damn shame that you went to Dragon instead of crashing waves. Fucking ridiculous. Q. W. Auto. Q. E. Nice. Auto. Auto. Q. Bong. Just a happy little mistake. Too much. I'm going back to my camps. I have Kraken Slayer off reset, so what I'll do is this respawn scuttle. And then get a reset off. If we overdo the play here, it's whatever for me. But it costs me too much time. I need golden experience. The Void Grubs are spawning up there. Oh god, look what you've done, you damn scorpion. Your kind is extinct for a reason. They're fucking stupid. Let's get out of here. Nice. Hecarim doesn't have Eclipse on this turn. That means that my Dragon Fight is so much stronger. Now building into the Stride Breaker as our second item. Stride Breaker giving us good stats. Kraken Slayer giving us AD attack speed, movement speed, every three autos. More damage, more damage if they're low. Combos really well with the E. One thing I really hate with the Bork is that I don't deal much damage with my E. And boy, that pisses me off. Get them super low and then they don't die. It's awkward. Get my red buff and it's time for me to get into the river and show these fellas why they call me Sawyer Jungle. Let's attack Mordekaiser first here. Hey big man. W. Q. Auto. Auto. Q. E. 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 Oh, I don't have it. E. 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 I got CC to death. Man. We needed to play that much slower. 
That one's my bad, but also... Nah, let's just... If I stay waiting for Mordekaiser rather than trying to turn onto the Hecarim, who has a Leona on top of him... One thing about Leona and Belveth, man, this champ is fucked up. She makes you take more damage, basically. Belveth's weakness, magic damage. Like, and then she stuns you, and then you take more damage, and then you're dead. It is the wackest shit to play into. Are you guys on Void Grubs? Let me know. Let me know. I'll check this before I go back to my camps. Yippee, Void Grubs. I get to get my empowered form. Get this one low and then use the E. Now you want to leave that coral on the ground for a second here. So you can maintain the form for longer. Alright. Auto, auto, auto. Smite. Noob. Run, it's Leona, the strongest champion ever. Q. Yes. QW. Okay. No one's gonna die now. <laughs> no, I'm going back to my camps, boys. One minute on the dragon, so skip the Krugs, but it is time to clear some camps. After dying like an ultra noob, we need to get some XP. Yeah, take that, Leona, you stupid bitch. Fucking... Oh, I lock in Leona, I press Q, I have 4,000 armor. Yeah, my parents are real proud of me. They actually make a lot of money, yeah, and I spend all my time playing League, yeah. yeah. I, I eat about one or two Impossible Whoppers a day, you yeah. know. They taste good. So by cleaning up these camps, we get ourselves the golden XP that we need. And you always have to keep in mind, too, like, you're getting that bonus attack speed. We're powering into the Stride Breaker. Farm, very good, and then it's, like, perfect timing to get that farm right now. I'm Leona. I eat impossible whoppers. That's why you sound like Leona. Stupid. Nice. Fizz is inting flash E. U? W. Auto. Nice. Fizz has the ability to press E before you can hit him, but I was banking on the cooldown being down. Now the dragon might be kind of screwed here. So what I'll do is hit the mid turret and see what the enemy wants to do. Okay, my Skarner wants to go top. Q. Q, W. Nice. Nice. Auto, auto, Q, E. Close. Okay, okay, we got him. Mr. President, he's down. Now, I want to get an objective, man. That dragon's there, but damn, it's all the way on the other side. I'm going to do the, the Rift Herald that's coming up here. Because I'm closer. Let's check it out. Auto, Q, Smite, and then the E. Auto, W, Q, auto, auto, and then it will swing instead of autoing you. And it, when the Rift Herald autos you, you then deal half damage. So if you smite at the start and then do that sort of sequence, you can clear it much faster. Check it out, we're almost done. The objective is done. Come on, Fizz. Q. 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 Buzz off. Time to reset. 2,500 for Stridebreaker. My ADC is already dead. And they're on bot side. I think I just keep farming. Dude, that's the thing about Kraken Slayer too. I don't know the numbers. I don't, I'm not a mathematician. I think Kraken Slayer clears faster. Clears the jungle camps faster. And one thing's for sure, it sounds cooler. That, that, poop, pow. It just sounds cooler and I have more fun playing with it. It's a better item. Fact. Since I'm clearing, I, I'll stay on the map and clear every single camp. Even if I'm on a big overstay, it's fine as Belveth. You need to be making use of your time. You're doing one of two things, farming or fighting. The in-between, that's where you run into trouble as Belveth. So if you ever have to wonder where the game went or why you lost, it's because you didn't do anything. I'm going to play safe. I'm going to eat my impossible whopper top lane. Since Leona's top, let's go ahead and dive this guy. Skarner, you're gonna scare her. Your kind is extinct for a reason. You scare all the hoes away. Oh my god, this turret is high HP. Luckily, we got two Void Grubs. I'll speed it up a little bit. Run! Run! I'm not fighting. 
Now we are in business. Stridebreaker and then into Ninja Tabby. With a control ward. Okay, they're exiting this way. Blast cone. I'm in there, boys. I'm in there. Nice Q stride auto, and he's just insta dead. Let's go ahead and push mid with that Rift Herald. Kaisa's still bought. We killed their mid laner. Now we want to take the first turret and then use the Rift Herald for the second one. Since we got that empowered form, we also spawned those funny minions. Push, push, push. Pink, 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 pink. Write it in. Whenever you write it in, it spawns the little guys from the Void Grubs. And then those little guys will spawn the funny minions when they die. Sorty, don't stun me. Q, W, auto, Q, stride, E. This is taking way too long for the turret to die, boys. Flashing away. This is just going to kill my Lucian. Okay, okay, that, that's my bad. I want to be hardcore, but their whole team is there. Where's my whole team? Not not in the mid lane. W. Auto. Run. That's what they don't tell you about Belveth. You can walk away with the blue smite with my two Qs away. Who's going to stop me, huh? Now's the time to farm, but like my blue side is so compromised. I'm not a shutdown, so that's nice. Let's reset. Say goodbye to my blue side camps. Whatever. But right, Stridebreaker's a big spike because you get your HP, you get your tankiness, and now every item we get from here gives us tankiness and damage. The Ninja Tabby, movement speed, armor, reduced damage from autos. The Wits End, gonna give us magic resist. So, the Stridebreaker's your mid-game item, giving you utility, HP, just good stats. Just good My red side's gone. The honor, I didn't see this one coming. Hecarim. Guys, we can win. Sorty. Sorty, sorty. Bro, Hecarim can't just have my whole jungle. My blue side's compromised now that Skarner's dead. Um, Belveth is of no use defending, so instead we have to counterattack something. I'll be taking this guy's blue side. Enjoy. Enjoy, laners. Dude, it is so easy to kill your allies by dropping the Rift Herald like I did mid. The dragon's coming up, so... Hopefully, we have some sort of play. 14 seconds on play. Hey, yay, yay. Hecarim, 140 CS. Congrats. Alrighty, well, we're no form Belveth before the objective. It's not time to farm. Push with my team a little bit here. What I'm really looking for is a QQ and then Stridebreaker W. Let's lane, guys. Q. Q, Stridebreaker. Danger. Yeah, it is dangerous if you're just going to play all the way back there. Hope the enemy walks into me. Run! Run! Okay, I can re-engage in a sec, but I want to get on my carries, I think. Q, W! Q, E! Oh, God. I don't have my E. I'm just dead. That's right, I used it on Leona. Well, it looked pretty good. Bro, my Lucian's so weak. Who knew? Everyone's just dead, eh? Well, I want to be hardcore, but my team won't let me. Honey, I got a Null Magic Mantle. Look at all that magic damage from their team. Ay, ay, ay. A recurve bow and a null magic mantle. I'm doing good. I'm strong. It's just, what the fuck? What the, when did these guys get so strong, huh? Alrighty, let's clean up whatever camps are left here. And then it's all going to be about the Baron. Losing three dragons is not the end of the game. What's really lame about this game stay is that the enemy carries have such a lead. Meaning they have more damage and take less damage. That's pretty lame. 
That's pretty bad for the cause here. But our gameplay remains exactly the same as it was in the early game. We farm during the downtime. When we are strong, we show up and fight. We do the play, and we either win it or lose it. As Belveth, you want to, you don't want to be in the middle just hanging out. You want to do a play and either die or not. Because when you win, you win big. When you die, it's, it's, it can be okay. Not good. You know what's worse? Doing nothing. Alrighty, sweeper into the enemy jungle here. In a position for a pick, you would think that we could get one with my teammates having prio here. Nice fizz in the top lane. Q? Strike Q, E. Okay. There's the ulti, W. Auto, auto Q. Come on. No, not Leona. Not Leona, dude. Okay, back in. Q, and then my W's coming up. Flash, right W. Are pushing them away from my E. They can die. They can die. That's a fact. We've done it. We've killed their support. Almost everything we had invested. That's one tanky fella right there. There goes my ADC. Bro, if we commit in, we are so screwed. Q-stride. Okay, we're in business, we're in business. Q, oh. Don't get hit by this guy. Get slow, dumbass. Remember, his E can be up. You can cast that E out of the Zonias before we can do anything. I guess we're pushing mid. Let's heal up a little bit. We could just do Baron. Good luck, man. There's his E, Q stride. You have to finish the fizz off right here. Bong! QW! This is for all the times you stunned me, you stupid bitch. And actually, the cat is mine. Of course she doesn't die. Let's get out of here, Mundo. Now would be the time to farm. We got wits in the bank, too. 20 seconds on Fizz. The real tricky part is that I'll be on an overstay if I don't reset. So we really need to have people around Baron. Yeah, I'm just gonna reset just in case. Because they could just walk to the Baron and do it, so... With Lucian showing bot, it's also a bad sign. Wits End, and then finally a Cloth Armor. Okay, Wits End giving us Magic Resist, Tenacity, Attack Speed, but that on-hit damage, that 60 Magic Damage on-hit is big! So we have a lot more DPS now. And then as we go into Death Stance or Terminus, we'll have a lot more tankiness as we go. You know, they have quite a bit of Magic Damage. Perhaps we just go Jack Show or something. Give everyone that red buff, and I have no form, so let's group up. Bro, I got hit by the Fizz E. I'm so screwed. I don't know. That's an awkward angle to approach from. Everyone's dead, you know. I tried my best, you know. <laughs> my bot lane is dead before I get there for the 30th time. Okay, okay. Because I wanted to get on to Kai'Sa. And I was like, nice. Leona and Hecarim are diving my ADC. It will only be Fizz... It may be Mordekaiser, probably not, and then I can get onto that Kai'Sa. No. No, they all just turn on to me. Crap, Ola, man. Them getting the Baron kind of seals the deal. They're going to win from this game state. They should, despite me being fed. A lot of people message me, how do I win games when I'm losing? Uh, you don't. But anyways, let's get to this dragon. Level 15. I'm level 13. I'm a fucking peon. Amazing. Your champions do like nothing at this point. Alrighty, and my ADC is dead before the dragon even spawns, so... My best bet now is to just farm.
Ekrem level 16. All right. Mundo's on a mission here. Let's go attack with him. These guys haven't reset yet. All right, this guy's full HP. I'm so screwed. <laughs> Leona's just gonna solo kill me now. Well, I gave it a shot, you know what I mean? Can I get that big ass shutdown on Ward? No? Understandable. Don't really feel too bad about missing out on maybe like three camps in the blue side here. Because three camps in the blue side doesn't carry my ADC being two and eight. Their ADC having three items plus a Zonia's. Mid lane having a death cap. Mine has a cosmic drive. You know what I mean? My ADC. You know what I mean? This FF is fine. Oh yeah, screw Death Dance. Here, check it out, Jack Show. Nah, screw Jack Show. If we're gonna carry this one, we're gonna need Terminus. Sell that cloth armor, honey. It's of no use. I'm gonna one-shot them or get one shot. Let's do this. Terminus gives us that late game item, that late game damage. Whereas the other items like curb into tankiness. No matter how tanky we are, it doesn't matter. The enemy kills us anyway. He's fine. It's not fine. I'm dead. Oh, it's in range. <laughs> Their team comp is so lame. Man. Well, I can take responsibility for a couple deaths in the early game, like this one until Leona. It started off with a kiss. It doesn't necessarily have to end up like this, but yeah, it shouldn't have dashed in there. Send her home, boys. Get us the fuck out of this game. There you go. Hit him, Lucian. Hit him with your Essence Reaver. Nice try, Lucian. Oh, my turn, my turn. Q stride, auto, auto, Q, E, W, Q. Damn it, they didn't dive the fountain. Final score, 7, 6, and 7. What's in dealing 240 damage. Kraken dealing 1,000. Well, they're not going to deal much damage if we can't hit them past like 18 minutes. One of the comments in the Discord too was like, well, one of the questions was like, I often deal like little damage on Belveth. It's like, yeah, this game state, we were owning 11k damage dealt. Why? Well, it's nothing Berg past like 16 minutes. We're not going to get those team fights. The laners will have more opportunity to deal damage. The stat's just not important. Belveth's not built like that. Well, GG. That puts us at Masters whatever. Still 3,000 LP above that other YouTuber, that other jungle YouTuber. You know the one. With Conqueror healing is 500. Well, Bob, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one. We're going to win the next one. That's the thing. Get out of here, man. You already know I'm starting these Raptors. You already know. Thanks for the 10 gold, dumbass. <laughs> oh, now that's unlucky. You guys going to invade me level one? What are we doing here? I'll stand here for like a good five seconds <laughs> until those ra until I know if they're invading my raptors. What are we doing, man? Okay, he's not here. Listen, you guys know I'm starting raptors, okay? Now I can also pretty safely assume that Grace would be starting topside. It'd be very weird for him to not path bot. And he spent his time up there, so. Skip the red buff to the Krugs. This will help us avoid invade, but also get our camps respawning. Back to back, and also make it so that we hold the red buff for longer. Must have missed my Q or something. Those Krugs took a little bit longer than usual. Alrighty, I will win this game. I am a good player. Now against Mr. Graves, you don't have to do anything special. You both power up in the early game and then meet each other. Well, on the first turn here, we power up and then we meet each other on turn two with some items. And if either one got some ganks off in the meanwhile, then you can be a little bit stronger, but 
The main deal is just keep it steady. My balling wins. I'm farming my camps. You're gonna have to stop me, Mr. Graves. Yes, it's what I deserve after last game. Hecarim walks bot lane and then gets a double kill. I love it. I love it. Well, actually, they killed him. Right, why did they lose the game then? Keep farming for now. I'll even save my smite too. Might have to cross the top side to get the top side scuttle. My ball line's gonna reset now. Alistar. Okay. He's not actually going in. Let's keep farming. And since my bot lane's resetting down there, I'll go ahead and go for the top side scuttle. If I go for the bot side scuttle, then Graves can have Alistar as backup. And I won't have any backup from my support. Because they're walking from base. Zerath doesn't have stun, that's nice. I'm not exactly risking anything with this one. Q. Walk right into him, Bob. Auto Q. Auto E. You don't have to land the W, that's what they don't tell you. Go ahead and push the wave here with Syndra. W. <laughs> yeah, stun him. Whoa! And Alistar, buzz off, buddy! Well, the wave is mostly crashed. Guess I have a scuttle crap problem. Hit that thing for me, come on! Cinder, you do not have to be here, baby, go home. Who hurt you? What jungler hurt you? What abusive relationship where he made you go to scuttle crabs that you can't even help on? Well, no scuttle crab for me, but I'm back to my camps faster than this guy can do anything about, so that's good. He might contest me on Krugs, but he probably doesn't have smite. What I'll do is pull these up a little bit. Good luck, Mr. Renekton. Smite E. The E dealing more damage when the target is low. Rest in peace, Mr. Renekton. That's kind of my turn. Am I going to kill this Camille? No. So I got my camps and I spent my gold. Mr. Graves, we're even in CS for now. Once he clears all of his camps, he'll be a little bit ahead. But not a real hard counter to that if he gets both scuttles. My lanes are mostly winning too, so I should be in business. <clears throat> We both had the one kill. We're both going to be on the board with like similar items. Okay, their bot lane is so low. So let's actually skip the wolves and then head on down there. Yeah, Syndra has the right idea. They might get scared with the mid lane roaming, but let's keep going. We're committed. Q. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, okay. This is one way to do it, guys. Q. Q. No, 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 no. E. My kill. Back to the camps. As I clear my camps now, my Gromp, my Wolves, the Raptors will respawn. Or, we'll have a topside play, so. We did our play, which was pretty easy. Show up and clean up the kill. And now, we'll clear some camps. Why? There's nothing else to do. What are we going to do, Dragon? Level 5? Grow up. Grow up and, you know, by at least, like, October, you better have a job or I'm going to have to kick you out. You know? Yeah. And then October comes around, they don't kick them out. They don't do anything. This is kind of awkward for me. You guys are all topside, but... Let's get into position, quick. Hey, what is up, guys? Auto. Nah. <laughs> Auto. He still has his Q. QW! On to Graves. Schmack. Schmack. E. Yeah. Okay. Really? Nobody's dying here? Guys, we have to go forward. Hello? Q. Flash W. Q. Auto. Q. Auto. Let me show you. The Let me show you how the real players do it, guys. The enemy is on the run, their cooldowns are down. Everyone is kiving into Void Grubs. What are you talking about? You're freaking me out. Luckily, I had my flash to seal the deal there. I'll take a little snack on my way out. Nice, that gives me level 6. And now I'll just keep clearing some camps until I have some info. To do the Void Grubs is a bit much. 
Getting the empowered form is good and all, but Mr. Graves is off his reset, and he has spent his gold, and I haven't. So I can just do an overstay in which I play for farm, and then get more XP than him, and then leverage that later. For now, I'll be able to get my empowered form off this, for fuck's sake. W, Q, East. Run! Run! I'll be on an overstay in farming, that's what I said. I thought I'd have enough time for the, the, like, furthest away Void Grub. No. An enemy has been I am my own worst enemy. Cause every now and then I kick the living shit out of me. Graves doesn't show on this, so maybe he jumped over the wall. Hello. Phew. He smite. Well, he ulted. Phew. Eventually here. Stun. Stun. Phew. D -d 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 w. Boom. Alrighty, Mr. Graves, I'll have to take a couple of your camps here. It's just standard procedure. I already have Kraken Slayer in the base, so... Pretty safe here. Now we have an Alistar. Remember, we have an Alistar coming to the play. We have a Zerath that's not laning. So he's just jacking off in the jungle here. Smack, 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 smack. No noobs in here? Nice. We want to save a couple backwards Qs for a time when it's time to get out of here. Whoa! Q. Auto. E. Uh-huh. Oh! I thought I had my Cinder with me, too. We got a reset. We're doing too much. Lord knows, we're just doing too much right here. I should have went back to my blue side camps. Graves has tempo like that, and we know this. I've... I, like, the death timers were nerfed, you know what I'm saying? And both times, Graves is still there. He has Ghostblade, which gives him more movement speed, but like, both times, the, him walking to the Void Grubs into here, he's got nothing better to do, he's unemployed. And if he doesn't get a job by October, I'm kicking him out, so... That will show me to do these attacks off a winning play. I keep taking the L instead of going back to my camps. Why? Because the enemy jungler is fast enough to be there. If I did my own camps. Oh lordy, I'd be so strong. I'd be level 8, and this guy would be out of the game. But I risked it all for a fucking red buff. What did I get? Well, as you can see, I don't have a red buff. You can have Dragon, Mr. Graves. I just don't care anymore. Something snapped. I just don't care. He goes top lane. Okay. Control ward. No Zerath here now. Renekton's gonna die. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Stun, stun, stun. Yes. Oh. Smite. Auto. Auto Q. Auto Q. Auto. Auto. W. And there's his flash. Alrighty, Mr. Graves. Show up at perfect time to steal a scuttle crab, and I won't cry my eye my eyes out, I promise. Beep, 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 beep. Let's do the Krugs and reset like a good guy. Like a normal Joe. Does Zerath has 2 HP. If he stays, I'm gonna cry my eyes out as well. Damn it, he stayed. Well, stay tuned for the Amumu videos. Nice. Yes. Killed him. Yes. Ninja Tabby. Now, usually I complete the whole Stride Breaker before getting boots, but Graves has a lot of movement speed with that Ghost Blade. His whole damage is in his auto attack. Same with Kaelin and Camille. Ninja Tabby gives us some tankiness to that, as well as tempo because of our movement speed. Alrighty, I'll start the dragon here with Alistar dead. And then if they come to contest this, we'll just leave and go to Void Grubs. But it's time for the objectives. All the camps are down. The plays have already happened. So now, just start these bad boys up and get them done and hurry it up. Or I'm gonna kick you out of my house. By October. Only so much time. Beep, 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 beep. Um, skip the camps for now. We still want to get to these Void Grubs that are up here. So, we can cross through mid and try for a gank, and then that can set us up. Nice, Q. 
Q, W. Oh, auto Q, auto, 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 auto. Take that, asshole. <laughs> Can't dodge those, can ya? He's a skinny freak. How am I supposed to land the W, huh? That guy hasn't eaten protein in three years. Let's wait for Alistar to walk into us here. Or maybe even Mr. Graves. Nobody? Bro. Mac, Mac. We know what happens if I start the Void Grub, so I'll keep cheesing. Never stop attacking. That's what they say. QW. Take that, jerk. I hate your guts. Smack, smack. Yep, no more wards for you. They're sending a lot of people mid. We have to wait. Wait for our right time to strike, not slam into the enemy like a dumbass. They've given up position. Time for Void Grubs. You like that? Because I did nothing, I can now take at least one of these bad boys. Smite E, ulti. Let's get the fuck out of here, Nami. In a second. Phew. Don't fight, don't fight. Now it's time to farm. Well, I got the dragon in one void grub for my empowered form. That's good enough for me. Since the soul lanes are just not giving us anything else. The enemy spent a lot of time hanging out around there, too. All the meanwhile, Vayne's been f doing something bot lane. So now, we want to keep powering up. We do that by getting the camps, giving us golden XP, and then also getting us to that stride breaker all at the right time. Even if they attack top lane, it's not my job to defend. There's three of them up there, and then there'd be one of me. Me clear camps into Graves camps. Me so good. We gotta farm quick. Zerath, your ass is grass. Just give me a sec. Skip that scuttle crab. Into position. Q. Why is he playing? There we go, there we go. Why is he playing safe? Come on. We don't have a minion wave for a little bit, but he has nowhere to run. Dude. Dude. Push the wave. Hurry up. Hurry up. I wish I was doing Krug this entire time. Your ass is grass, you skinny freak. Nami W. Auto. Noob down. Maintain that empowered form. Nice, we can take the whole turret, too. And that's how you do it, Bob. Don't defend top lane, just keep farming, and then show up to your attack. If you skip your attack, well, you enter purgatory, because there's no motion. If there's no motion, if you have no money, some would call you a broke boy. And that's not good. The F-Sword Ghost Blade, and Alistar approaching, no thanks. Getting TP'd on. Alright. Push mid. Yep, that's a fucking crazy overstay. Back at it. Keep farming. I'll uh, push two waves here. Will they attack me? Very unlikely. The Camille in the Graves was still there. That'd be a waste. Of, it'd be a crazy gamble of their time. Okay, let's reset. Phage, two long swords, dagger. Always getting that Phage first when building towards the Stride Breaker. AD, HP, movement speed. If you don't have the HP as you're entering the mid game, it doesn't matter how much AD you have. Just sucks to play. Are we seriously attacking top? We don't even have a wave to take the turret later. Come on, land that stun. Q. Q. Schmite. Auto. 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 Q. W. E. My E is on a long ass cooldown today, I tell you what. Um, let's actually get the form. 
Nice. It only cost me one turret shot. Guys, shove! What are you doing? There we go. Okay, thank god. Thank god we can take this turret. Because my vein's dead. They take the dragon. It's like, at the very least, I need to answer with a turret. Think, 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 think. The turret is dead. Damn, someone took your minion wave. Let's get as much farm as we can. Don't really have a clue if they took my blue side camps or not. We do have the stride breaker in base, but if we want to check all the camps first. We just did our play. Back to the camps, farm them up. You don't want to skip the camps just because you have the reset to buy the stride breaker. Alrighty, no blue side camps, but we got scuttle. I'm level 12, you're level 11, plus you suck. Stridebreaker, one control ward. I don't have my empowered form, so I could just go play with my team for a little bit. The camps will be down. So let's get stride, or let's get red buff and then go have fun. Go be like a, a support to the team. Um, Cinder's pushing top lane against Camille. That's not an easy endeavor here, so I'll move with her. Nami Vane can hold them, hold their own. A Camille ulting a Cinder, you know how that goes. Hi, guys. Stripebreaker. Yeah, you know how that goes. Come on, poke him. Back to the camps. <laughs> A whole lot of nothing. Careful, honey. They're gonna flank you. We have no wards. Man, Graves gets to run around with Alistar. What do I got? A, f a fish. Like, there's enough protein in fish, but you know, that's a whole lot of meat on that guy. I'm taking a risk. Q. Stripebreaker auto. Q. Q. Schmite. W. Why are you here? Smack. Smack. Q. <laughs> now I love to commit, but Cinder's got the flank. Check it out. Fuck! Flash. Q. W. Wish me luck, Bob. Clean him up, boys. My Cinder did not have the flank. Clean him up, boys. There we go. That's that's just one. That's that's all that we're gonna get, dude. That's about as good as you can do as a a no form Belveth. Every one of my team dies, <laughs> bro. That's kind of the utility of the Stridebreaker, though. Even without form, even without like any particular juice, you can still get in there. Let's go to the Baron, man. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Say it ain't the Syndra flank. And why did I believe in that shit? Get me in there. At the very least, we can try to clean up. Okay. It's one. Damn, I went the wrong way, huh? Q. Sweeper. Q. Stridebreaker W. E. It's fine. It's fine. Syndra stun. Alistar doesn't have ulti. Dude, fucking Camille again. QW? Q stride auto? Auto Q. Nice. Alistar, kill me! Uh -huh. <sighs> I have to play for my team. Boy, that's a shame. Nice. Yeah, clean him up. Hell, we got Baron off most of them. Graves Camille. Camille split push might work, but that isn't too bad. 
they're like all physical damage, so I don't want to get the wits early this time. We'll go Steel Sigil, which this item kind of sucks, but it gives us some armor. And then we'll get that Death Stance later, so we don't get obliterated by Caitlyn, Graves, and Camille. And that will help me, quote, play for my team. To the dragon. If I'm not careful here, I'll fall behind on XP. If I don't farm my camps. Nice. Fall. Now remember, they got Baron. It's up to them to push. Not my turn to attack, despite us winning these plays. We just did like a feed into a feed, so <laughs> definitely time to farm. What if my team fights like the Cinder just did? Oh, they're fighting off my tempo. I could reactively go there, but you don't want to be in the middle where you're kind of moving towards the play, but also not farming. The love of God, Bob, farm your camps. <laughs> oh, I might show up, I might not. I might uh, door dash an impossible whopper right to my doorstep. Let's reset, get a pickaxe. For some reason, this like 25 AD is like the make or break if I actually deal damage right now. Some cosmological reason, that's how it feels. Well, they fought off my tempo. And died. Explored the red side, died. Standing still in lane was never an option. Well, they're gonna get that mid turret no matter what. So I'm going bot lane. If my team is fighting. 1v5. I can get a couple waves here, but we are gonna have to defend our base. Nine seconds. One more wave. Bob, they could probably just push it in, let's be real. But your honor, we were winning. Q. Q. Get stunned, he's fine. At least we're buying time here. Smack, 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 smack. Bong, smack, smack, Q. QW. Smack, Q. Get back here. I hate your guts, Graves. I hate you. With your stupid striped pants. Q stride moving. Auto E W. Auto auto Q. Auto. Yeah. You got a surprise, dumbass. Didn't expect Renekton, did ya? They're all dead. Baron comes up in 150. I wanna take that mid turret. I wanna get every camp on the map here. We have a cannon minion. I'm gonna have to carry this bad boy. We got a wave bot lane. Build up the stacks. Push, 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 push. It's fine. Push, 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 push. Oh, well, nice dodge by her. Bane's coming, so we can play this slow. Just hitting the Alistar, hitting the front line. Re engage. Q. QW, Q away. Uh huh. And Vayne, everyone. Nice. Pong. Oh, it doesn't hit Graves? Bummer. Yeah, dodge your Q, dummy. Q. Q. Blue Smite, moving. Blast Cone, cheater. Cheater! Alrighty, let's reset. No need to overdo it here. Get to that bear and get our death stance. Close, man. Death stance, um, I guess into the wits end. The magic resist does not hurt. The red buff will give me level 16 and we are in business. Every day of the week, it's, where's my red buff? It's playing for the Baron here. Baron gives Belveth the empowered form, the funny minions and 
the ability to split push. If you don't split push, if you don't take turrets, if you don't push, you don't win the game, Bob. Phew. Well, they have control over the river for now. I'm gonna lose my empowered form as well. Sweeper. There's the stun. Nice. Okay. Oh, that Nami ulti is so close. Q, W. Beep, 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 beep. Nice, I hit him. I get form. Baron, 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 Baron. Their jungler and top lane is dead. And someone ping mid lane. And then after this Baron, we're looking to split push. The dragon doesn't matter. We're not getting soul. We need to push the pace. Baron buff only lasts so long. This might... Oh, God. Don't mind me. Who's the top lane? Spawn the funny minions. Now, the funny minions don't count as real minions. So you actually don't deal too much damage if it's just those minions. You don't deal too much damage to the turret. So... We need to be cautious up here. It's just me. Yeah, it's just me. Graves goes bot. But there could be a Camille Alistar. It's a real problem. Alistar's bot. Nice. Still, Camille's bot. Nice. Now. Now I'm good to go. Just stay in the lane. Don't go to the jungle camps. Baron buff the minions. Just a matter of time. Nice, I'm engaging on mid. Zara's running out of mana too. <laughs> so long that I don't stand on the minions, he won't hit me as well. He can't do anything about it. QW. Q stride. BBB. Oh! Oh, that works. Probably didn't have to flash if I do that a little better. Um, Kaelin gets kills, but like, it doesn't matter. Push, push, push. QW. Alright, let's get out of here. Nice, we got the inhib and we got some damage on the top turret. What the hell happens with my team, I don't care. We still have a little bit of Baron, so let's take these blue side camps and then get a reset off and go to bot lane. Keep side laning for now. So this... Side landing gets us strong, gets us item. Like, hurts the map. It's just like a win, 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 win. Alternative, group up with your team. Are you out of your mind? Hope a fight happens mid. Hope the impossible whoppers are buy one, get one today. Skip the camps, do the bot side. We got the death stance, um, and now we're going for terminus, which will be our last item. Wish I knew where the, where the enemy was. Alistar's there. Hey, big man. Graves. Graves, Graves, Graves. I have a question. There we go. Beep, beep, beep. Q. Beep, beep, beep. Q. E. Nice. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Bop, 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 bop. Beep, beep, beep. W. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> nice. Ulti. Yes. Nice bubble. Smite. Q. 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 Nice. It's just Zerath and then Caitlyn. Let's push. I can't believe they took the fight. I have a flank. Nice. Push, push, push. Just ignore the Zerath. He's skinny and also blue. Push, 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 push. Final score, 9, 3, and 13. Kraken Slayer dealing 2.5k. Whitson dealing 900. That's the last time that I lo almost lose a game on Belvet. That's the last time. Put us at Masters, 173 LP, final damage dealt, 23,000, because we could actually carry this one. Damage taken, 38,000, with Conqueror healing us, 960. Not bad. We really sealed the deal by getting into, well, that last fight onto Graves, right? He was isolated. He had moved up the map trying to gank me or do some stupid shit. And then, with the empowered form, get over the wall, punish that guy. And then as his team is moving in the jungle to help the Graves, they're... They're, they're moving towards the play, which really sucks for them. Because then they're moving into all of our damage, all of our skill shots. And I th then there's me on Belveth going, auto, 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 auto. 
I used my E against the Alistar knockup so we don't get burst. It all just worked out so well. And then using that Baron to split push, get my items, go fight, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I've been having a lot of fun on Belveth climbing um, on my main account. And, yeah, that certain tempo of when to fight and when to farm, I feel like I'm super locked in on. So I really hope you got that aspect because Belveth is so much more fun when you're fighting at the right times and then farming at the right times, getting this for that. It becomes a real interesting game. Alrighty, Bob. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.